Welcome back to another video on my channel guys and today I finally got this um, customization of the Liberator Monster Truck on my channel. Now a few people have um, sort of requested this video, I actually made a video on how to customize the Marshall, the other monster truck in front of me. Um, however, a lot of players couldn't get this vehicle on GTA and um, I'm not going to take up a lot of your time guys, I don't, I don't like when people chat shit at the beginning of their video for like 5 minutes and it would take a minute. But um, the reason why players couldn't get this uh, monster truck on their GTA story mode is because they weren't a returning player. Now, what this means is, is um, players who were on PS3 or Xbox um, 360 used the Social Club account to transfer their character over to next gen, so either um, PC, Xbox One or PS4 were exclusively available to be able to get this Marshall um, vehicle and um, I didn't know that at the time of the video and a lot of people commented saying they couldn't do it which sucks so they were missing out on this video so today guys I'm going to show you how to customise the Liberator which is a completely different um, vehicle anyway so it's awesome right let's get straight into the video so what you're going to want to do is you are going to need to get a street vehicle any street vehicle or a car you have stored in your garage and preferably you want to get it down in Los Santos because that's where um, the sort of sporty, sportier cars spawn. Now you want to either um, go to a Los Santos down there or come up to um, near Trevor's airfield where I am. And guys, you can do this with any character, it doesn't matter what character it is. And you can go ahead to Los Santos Customs and um, customize your car. The best now you're going to customize everything apart from the respray. Um, unfortunately, it also won't um, work. And um, like the windows and stuff like that, but the wheels, the tyres. All the engine mods, so the turbo, the transmission, everything like that will work. So go ahead and um, upgrade your street car as much as you can. And you can still um, keep the street car. All that will happen is, is when we get out of it, it'll be impounded. So you can go ahead and get that later on and keep it. So completely max out the car you've got off the street. And now we're going to want to go find the Liberator. So you're going to head to this location I'm showing you on the map now. And the Liberator um, spawns sometimes at Rebel Radio. Now, I'll say sometimes it's actually a really rare vehicle to spawn. So, guys, it's going to be hit and miss. You're going to want to keep coming back here with um, different characters and see if you can find it. So, um, it took me a while to find it. But if you look, the time I found it was about 8 on a Monday. So, if you're struggling, try at 8 on a Monday, see what happens. So, now we're going to hop into the Liberator and we're going to go over to this location right near Trevor's um, safe house. So guys, this Liberator should spawn in for um, all players on all consoles. So if you're a PS3 player, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, should work for all gens, PC. So guys, here we go. We've got the monster truck for everyone to use, not just the Marshall, but for everyone to use. Even if you are able to get hold of the Marshall, if you are a returning player, you can still do this um, method with the Liberator because the Liberator is a completely different monster truck. So go ahead and try it. It's a good little glitch we're going to do. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to head over to this patch of water here. So normally we would do this down in um, Los Santos but it will take too long and maybe the customization transfer and process will um, run out or be too long. So you're going to go ahead and you want to turn the radio on and you want to drive as slow as you can into the water. So drive slowly, not too fast. And what should happen is when you drive enough into the water the car will die and the radio will turn off. And that will happen, you won't drown or anything, you don't need to exit and then once that's happened you want to press down on the d-pad and switch to another player. Doesn't matter what player it is, just switch to another player. Now once you've switched to another player you need to um, stay with that player for a couple of seconds so just mess around for about 10 this seconds. Clean. You know just do a couple of stuff whatever, I was just jumping off this car and face parting. But you just want to give it a bit of time to recognise that you switch switched player. And this is where the transfer happens, it's because we've put customization into the street car and we've killed the car but we haven't got out of it, we are going to respawn on the road in the monster chart, in the liberator with customization. And there you go, we have a customized liberator. Now if you look at the wheels, we've got completely different tread on the tyres which is a smooth tread and it looks awesome. And we've got really nice rims on there, we've got the writing on the customized tyres as well and most of all we've got all the engine mods so you can um, make it backfire, spit flames, you've got all the um, turbo in there, the transmission, it's slightly lowered so it's an awesome glitch to do guys so I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm just going to show you um, the turbo and the uh, backfire of the flame spitting now which is a pretty awesome glitch to do. 
But guys, unfortunately, the colour won't change because this um, Liberator has its own like livery. So unfortunately, we can't change that. But it's a pretty awesome livery.